gap between the business of media and the market it serves. He developed relationships with team members with ease and was always open to recommendations to expand their roles and responsibilities to help them reach their maximum potential. He understood the importance of the news, its strategic place within a media organization, and the crucial role it plays in advancing the interests of the general public. His father, Chappie, was a famous film and video producer and director of photography, while his mother, Marguerite Saint-Just, was a media professional. For more than three decades, Francois worked as a broadcaster. He started working at Radio Jamaica, previously RJR, in 1984 while finishing his physics degree. Don Topping, Norma Brown Bell, and Hall Plummer extended an invitation to Francois to join the famed 95 FM staff, and he immediately established himself as one of the station's brightest young stars. He took on the role of staff supervisor at Fame 95FM in 1987 and was then elevated to the rank of assistant programs manager in 1991. And in 1996, he was appointed manager executive producer of Fame 95FM. Saint-Just fully reinvented the Fame FM brand and brought it to the forefront of the Caribbean radio industry. In 2007, he took on the role of general manager of radio, which included RJR, Fame FM and Hits 94 FM. In 2007, he took on the role of general manager of radio, which included RJR, Fame FM, and Hits FM. He started anchoring the Saturday morning program on Radio Jamaica in 2012 as a stepping stone to his final role as co host of Sunny Side Up with Paula Ann Porter Jones, the weekday morning program on Radio Jamaica. Throughout his life, Sanjus had a strong appreciation for music. He would go out of his way to assist people who were in need. He was a thoughtful man who worked hard to make both his life and the lives of others around him better. In addition to giving back to his community, Sanjus served as president of the Rotary Club of Kingston in 2014. Yeah. Okay, so it is time for us now to pay tribute in our own way to this amazing man who um, inspired so many. I mean, when you look in social media yesterday, mm -hmm. it's like everybody felt they knew him. Mm -hmm. You grew up with him, you heard him yell, good morning, Jamaica. You were part of this facts and trivia. You, I mean, Jamaica has felt this. I heard Paula say yesterday on air that we feel like the rug has been swept out from under us and we're trying to figure it out, eh? We're trying to process it. Um, and one way that we are helping each other through it is that we are all sharing our memories and we're talking to each other and we're linking up yeah. as a community who loved him and whose lives he touched. And so we've got our GM of radio uh, here with us this morning. Um, GM of everything. <laughs> Cindy, words fail me. Um, head of TV, um, GM of radio. Claire Grant, Dr. Claire Grant here with us this morning. I see you watching that and your, your mind is gone where? Well, um, I think I'm, 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 I'm into audience mode when I first think of Francois because I would have been in high school when Fame was born um, and remembering those original princes and then remembering when Francois joined. Um, I remember that slot he was on. It, it's, it, it, the theme was um, Sherry La Ralph in the evening. The in the comes evening. Alive, right? yes. So he, that was a 5 p.m. slot, which, I, which is where I remember him from first. And um, he made media. I think about it a lot now, certainly since yesterday and the past couple of days, of how he would have introduced me to this world that I have now eventually become a part of. And um, he made radio. I mean, as a kid, you're driving in the car and, you know, your parents listening to 94 because that's where all the things are. But between Linstead to Spanish Town, because I went to San Diego High, the dial did have to kind of move. No, of course. Mm -hmm. And my father and I got into these battles mm -hmm. until he began to hear the six o'clock. And he was like, this madman that you all have on radio, what is this? And we came to a little agreement that we would go over to listen to the news and then spend the rest of the time listening to fame. So in the morning, 
when he went to that morning slot, it was just like completely awesome for mm -hmm. me. Yeah. And I became so excited about radio. I love music. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes I know, mm. yes you I know, music. yes. So in that five to, <coughs> five to nine slot when he was there, it was really all about the music. And at that point in time, um, fame brought this energy in terms of how the music was played. And he was right up there. Mm -hmm. But then when he moved to the morning slot, hey, hey, mm -hmm. it, it became something really very different. So you, when you come to RGR um, Communications Group, at, as I did in 2006, and you now see this icon, you know, um, this, this person who made radio so exciting. And what was so striking to me about him was just, he's just kind of this real cool guy, you know? Yeah. He, he's not like running around the place and you have to see him and you need to roll out in a red carpet. He's just doing his thing. And also so shockingly, like, uh, inside himself. Mm -hmm. Like, when I heard him on radio and I auditioned and got here and saw him as a person, I was like, who is this man? <laughs> and, you know, because he was so quiet so, and yeah, so amazing, reserved. Amazing, I was like, oh, so are you sure this is you? But so that, that shocked that, a lot that, of people. Th yes, so you became, and what it meant for me coming here at the time as marketing and sales manager, you could really talk to this guy, you know? Mm -hmm. It wasn't like, you kind of felt you were coming and seeing this person who would be like, Larger well, you see him from far mm -hmm. and you probably wave, but no, you could mm -hmm. actually have conversations, sure. go up to that mm -hmm. little nest. It was, unless you call it me. The nest. It was a nest. nest. Fashion, nice we little nest. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> you know, that, 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 that interaction was really interesting. But I've gone through different periods of, of understanding him in different levels as I have moved through the organization. Mm -hmm. So I remember, for example, in that period of knowing who he was, mm -hmm. we went to some retreat of some start, mm. sort as marketing um, manager and... He, we went out, you know, you do this yeah. stuff and you go out and of course, my man have on him hat. And I realized what happened when he have on his hat. <laughs> you know, when he put on that hat. Here comes the crazy. It is, yeah, and we're out and I'm <sighs> like, you hey, man, have mm -hmm. fun. Mm -hmm. so, so I saw that side of him. I think certainly in recent times, he was the, and this is really important for people to know, it's yeah. the first general manager of radio. Um, for the group, so the, the concept of having somebody that was going to manage the brands, he was the first. I, I tell the radio team all the time because people like to think about an individual coming in and doing things and I explain to them that everything that I am doing now stands on the pillars of things that have been done before yes. to move us to a particular point. And what was great about Francois, a lot of people don't know this, I guess he has names for everybody I'm hearing. <laughs> Uh, God, he says, clear us. <laughs> clear us. Nobody discusses with clear us. And he, I had something that I needed to know, something about a brand, something about a personality, something about a concept of a show. And I could just pick him up and say, what, what, what was the thinking? What was it yeah. that you wanted to do? And he would sit down and talk about it from Process concept. Yeah, yeah. From concept. Yeah. That's the physics mind. Yeah, it's not like everything know, came down to a science. Yeah. He's, and, and that's the brilliance of the man, eh? Mm -hmm. He was, yes, he could put him in front of the turntable, he's going to play the music. But his mind, Francois's mind, is unlike anybody yeah. else's I have ever met in yeah. my life. It's the brilliance of the science, with the brilliance of the arts, with the dexterity of mm -hmm. the music, knowledge. It's a, it's a whole heap of things that made him this very iconic, um, enigmatic yeah. kind of personality. You would never find anybody else like him. That's right. um, Colin, is Colin online? Colin is on the line. But before, yeah. we, yes. before we get to Colin, I, I believe that we have a, a clip that we want to play with Neville and Francois. Okay. okay. You know, his name is Francois Alain Gregoire Saint Just. <laughs> and even though he went to Ulmer's, I, I, I think I can say he's my friend. <laughs> no. <laughs> he's my good friend. Um, radio Week this week, and we're not going to start there. Give me a memory of, of radio for you, like maybe the first memory or the first thing you can remember about radio. Um, one, of, one of the first memories was staying up late at night underneath the bed 
with the radio on so that your parents wouldn't hear that you were listening to the radio. And I used to listen to some of the overnight shows. Also, I used to listen to, I remember listening to cricket uh, uh, on the radio, but you had to go under the bed, and, you know. Because you should have been sleeping. I should have been in my bed, yes, yes, yes. So that's, that's kind of the first memories of radio. That's what most boys, boys do. They don't study. <laughs> <laughs> they go under the bed and listen to radio. Um, you have a degree in physics. Yes, that's How you <laughs> translate that into being on the radio? Where, where did that start? Not the degree in physics, but where did the radio thing come with you? Um, radio was because of a love of music. It really was a love of music on campus. And um, we used to have a sound system and thing, playing music. And we used to listen to the radio to hear new songs and things like that. And they used to invite in DJs from time to time. So that was the whole thing. Wow, can we get on? Can we get on? Can we get on? And Hal Plummer let us on one time. And, and the rest is history. As it. There you go. I, um, so you this is history. Mm. Colon, as I call him, Ooh. online. Hey, um, <laughs> how are you? How are you doing, my friend? I know your history with with Bossman goes way back. I jo when I joined in '97, yourself and Paula were already there. Um, yeah. how, how are you coping with this? How are you remembering this great man this morning? Um, I'm processing slowly. Um, I'm hearing myself come back in the audio, but um, I'll talk to it. Yes, uh, please. My memories of what started, I would say, before, as a, as a, just as a youth listening to the radio. I um, remember hearing him on Saturday mornings and on, until it came to him being the morning host. There are songs that I played these days, uh, old school songs that I would that connect to him, like the the freaks come out at night and five minutes of funk mm -hmm. by Houdini, and if I had to those songs, um, even before his passing, um, it would just re reoccur to me that, yeah, he, he's the person that I first heard play those songs. Um, and then fast forward to me being his, possibly his second hire, while he was, um, for a brief time, Second in command to Norma Blonde Bell. Um, I was terrible at my auditions, and he had this ability to look through the mm. clunkiness of the audition. Mm. He said to Norma that um, you're going to hire this one because clearly um, he's never going to do a good audition. I did too. <laughs> um, <laughs> but we're going to hire this dude. <laughs> And, and so, and that was it. Um, and I think he had that ability yeah. um, to hear talent. Yeah. He also was within the scope of broadcasting and radio. He was our Renaissance man. I know a Renaissance man expands to multiple fields and ideas, but within what we did, he was our Renaissance man from the Silly Fedora to mm. all of these. Um, Never the dear devil never done before mm. ideas, the mm. road parties, mm -hmm. the island parties, the the little ideas that he came up with yeah. in creating what was for a long time the new field of him and Jamaica's most unique lifestyle and copied lifestyle radio <laughs> station. Get um, that in there. Just just <laughs> let me just plug that in there, says Colin. Um, yeah. Um, and 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 I think what many of us will remember most about him, in addition to all of that, is just how he was able to lead the team. Yes. Um, you know, you wanted to go above and beyond mm -hmm. for Francois because Mm -hmm. went above and beyond for you. And Claire talks about the nest that was fame. I mean, it was a space for us as famites. You would not even believe half of the things that went on up there when you <laughs> was a lover. Um, just being in an office space with Avon shoes, it was, it the radio like book, and, it but, but like it work. wasn't just for fame people. It yes. was for everybody. Everybody found their way up there because yeah. it was such a happy space to be, it because it was full of heart, and, and we just loved that about him. Yeah. Um, is this clock right, Clive? Are we counting down here? Yeah, but we do okay. have another another clip that we want to play before we round out our tribute. Okay. Sim. This is why you must have control over your show. I'm here to celebrate with you.
and congratulate you on all you have done. Yes, we remember those early days. If I'm to let out secrets, that's 23 years ago. And you came in as a very shy, unassuming person. And you already had the talent, we knew that. We heard your voice and felt your soul. And you started in the night helping people from then, mm -hmm. because those were some phone calls. Yes. And then you uh -uh. kept growing until you were part of the management team. And I heard you saying, yeah, I had to have a broad back. And yes, that was difficult. Mm. But we had a blast. Long live the legend. Long live the legend. More Smile Jamaica when we get back from Studio B. News in 5 is next. Thank you, Mrs. Grant. Thank you, Colin.